All right, we're gonna cover a little bit of safety and operation of this 10 ton hydraulic floor jack. She's brand new and she's a beauty. So right off the bat, we're gonna look at some stickers. There it says it's 10 tons. And there's some warnings on here saying, hey, you should read about it first or read this sticker. Keep some safety glasses on. That means don't work underneath it. It's heavy. Don't just trust this jack. It could lower unexpectedly. If you're working on a vehicle with tires on it, put wheel chocks there. That way the vehicle can't roll away from you. If you have the axle up in the air, put some jack stands underneath it. The maximum is 22 inches. The minimum is six and a quarter inches. And also here is for saying, hey, it needs some maintenance. There's some grease nipples on it. There's some oil that might have to get topped up from time to time. All right, if you are working on it or with it, it's pretty straightforward. First off, this is the lowering knob. So you have to make sure it's snug before you even start moving it. And then there's two ways of lifting it. There's either the quick foot lever. So that'll raise it up. And that's if you're just trying to get it into place. If you start having to really need to put some power to it, this lever has to be lifted, turned to the side, and now you could really start moving this lever and then you're gonna get all that extra power if you're gonna be lifting something as heavy as a semi. All right, a few uh, safety points on here. Hey, there's a couple pinch points. So when this part of the jack is all the way up and is being lowered, well, those rods are gonna be going really close to each other. If your hand's in there, it should be able to shear it off. One other point is, and I'm gonna lock this in. If this isn't locked in, right here, if this isn't locked in, I'm just gonna lift it up. If a person's putting their hand down here and starts to move it, well, there's a chance that your hands could get in between here, down in here. That should be enough to crush your fingers. And yeah, I've seen it done. Not very nice when that happens. So if you are using the uh, foot lever, use your foot on it or have this locked into place first. If you're gonna be maneuvering this, this back plate is actually for stepping on it. That way you could pull the jack back and you could easily move it around. That way you're not wasting time moving it around. If you are gonna be jacking, make sure you know what you're jacking on. There's certain things that you just can't move on. Say so if I want to start lifting on the front here, well, this is all plastic, right? So it's just gonna break it off. So if you're lifting on something, make sure it's underneath the main frame, not just uh, something that's gonna get destroyed. Now, if you are lifting on something as well, it's got to be level. If it's at an angle, there is a good chance that it could kick over to the side, either kick your jack over to the side or kick whatever you're lifting to the side, and then you have some bigger problems. Here, we'll move it back there. So it's a nice jack. And we're good.